What up? Welcome to Mobcast, um, episode number two, Super Bowl Sunday. We'll start off by taking our shot. Cheers. Cheers. Who day? Who day nation? Uh, that's who I'm going for today. Who? Day. Who day? Who the fuck? What the fuck is that? The Bengals. Oh. <laughs> who day? I've never heard of that. Have you not? No. They, dude, they've been like selling the shit out of that all over social media like this whole past week, these past two weeks. But oh well, I just I have not seen that. Yeah, well I'm that's going for the Bengals too. Go for the Bengals. Go um, shiesty, too cold with it, red. He is very. He has got ice in his veins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, let's hope he rushes for over twelve and a half yards <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I got a I got a nice little parlay warmed up for yeah, for yeah. Super Bowl Sunday last football. Game of the 2022 season. I got cup, one touchdown. Seems like it's gonna be a gimme. Yeah, that's kind of a that's a gimme already. Seems like a pretty easy. And your one. other one that you have with cup is what over, one 108 yards. Mm-hmm. That's gimme as well. Over 108 yards, which seems I, I unreal. Gets... Which seems unreal for a wide receiver. A gimme over 108. Yeah, give it to me. That seems unreal, but it yeah. is. He, I bet he gets 150 at least. <laughs> okay, mark it down. Mark it down, 150, says Tommy. I don't know about that. I'm but. saying 150, yeah. Okay. The what dude, about... The dude all season had like 200 yards at least. Mm-hmm. Like he averaged 200 yards. You were game. lucky enough to have him on your fantasy team. Yeah, dude. If I didn't have him on fantasy, I wouldn't have been that good. I had him, um, Jonathan Taylor. <laughs> Bro. And Josh I still, Allen. I had Josh Allen and Tom Brady. Uh, I had some pretty good receivers. I can't remember who I had for on my receiving core. Did you have Debo? No, I had Tyreek Hill and Cooper Cup. I had those two. You had a rookie. And then I Chase. had I had Jamar Chase. Yeah. Yeah. And I, then uh, I had uh, Mark Andrews, and I did have Gronk at the beginning of the season, but I traded him for Mark Andrews. And then my second stream tight end wasn't bad. I can't remember who it was. And then I also had the Patriots defense, dude. My yeah. team ran that league. Yeah, you but did. But I still fucking lost the championship. <laughs> did you really? Yeah. I didn't even pay attention I at that point. I lost the championship because I, my team didn't play the last Oh, because you had too all many my, good players. I had too many good players, and they were all going to the playoffs. And mm-hmm. so they didn't want to get injured, and so they played, like, the first half. Sure. I was like, shit, I had a 20-plus point lead on our friend Peyton Yak. And, and you know what kind of is really, really stupid? We, again, didn't put money down so what i think we need to switch it up to is punishment it's got to be punishment for the last person nobody wants to put money in for the winner everyone's gonna be you know sorry loser oh we're gonna put money in with like let's do like 10 bucks this year and then once they realize their team is shit and they start losing they're like i'm nope doesn't happen you gotta collect your payments at the beginning or else it's not gonna happen when i knew nobody had paid i was like okay yeah it's not not, i mean it's fun to play but if there's gonna do money and a punishment this year Everyone pushed out. I think we got to do a punishment. I yeah, like uh, m- money is cool. Maybe we can. But, but punishment's funny. Punishment's good. Like there's some there's some pretty good punishments out there. Like I saw this one on TikTok where they put they put their uh, the loser in this cage like a like a dog cage and they just throw flour at him, eggs oh, at him, and they they like one. dump like liquids and and um, condiments on him and shit, throw ketchup <laughs> at him. It's like that's a pretty gnarly punishment. I, saw that one. I also uh, there was one I saw where they had to sit in an IHOP for 24 hours straight. Oh, yeah, I've heard And of this. every pancake they can eat is an hour docked off. And I've if you can eat 24 pancakes in however many times, like however, whatever time. I've heard of that one. I've heard of that one yeah, before. That, one's, that would be wild. I don't know if I could fucking sit in an IHOP. Another, another bet I got on today is... um. Rams to win the third quarter. Just wanted to throw that out there. I think that'll be a pretty. Do you easy. think they're gonna win the third quarter? Yeah, all they have to do is outscore them in the third. Though, like I was listening to some either a podcast or or a radio show talking about this. Rams are one of the worst teams to come out of the second half and start offensively. Bengals have been one of the best. So you 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 factor that in. I mean, they ain't got to beat them by a lot in the third quarter, but they just got to outscore them. That's all they got to do. It seems like a pretty easy bet to me. I mean, you look at the Chiefs game. You look at the you look at both Chiefs games, well, regular well, season wait, so and you're post. Saying the Rams are gonna win the third quarter or the Bengals? No, Bengals. Did oh, I say Rams? I think you said Rams because I was like, you shit me. You gonna Fuck. take the Rams winning the third quarter over the Bengals, where the Bengals 
no. or like had the shittiest first halves in the whole like postseason. Yeah, I don't know I, what I, I was talking about. I was about. like confused. I was like, wait, in the Rams, but I gotta show you something. So that there's I like I'm on this like Reddit talk where it had like these people uh like post crazy stories or scary stories that are on Reddit that like go through and read it on their TikTok and then post it. And so there's this one story I was like that I thought was crazy. So these kids, these two boys that live next to a like pretty large, dense forest, um, they like go run and play and they're like they're kids, they just do whatever they want in the forest, they just fuck around. Yeah, you know, play sword fighting and <laughs> find random shit, whatever, yeah. Yeah. And so they went a little bit deeper and f- explored a little bit further than they usually do. Um, and they found a tree house just sitting in the middle of the woods. And so they went up into it. Or actually, they couldn't, it didn't have like anything to climb up into it. So they had to build like a little ladder. They went back to their house. Their dad took them to like Bowes or Home Depot or whatever by there. Damn. And they like built a little ladder to, or like nails and everything to get into, like nail into the tree. So they have a little ladder to climb up into the tree house. And okay. they, when they went into it and to explore it, one kid, they did rock, paper, scissors to see who went in first. And one of the kids that the one of the kids won, he went in and he came out like terrified. Like he had wide eyes, just like freaked out, like didn't know what the hell he just saw. So he told his friend, he was like, You gotta go check it out. So his friend went in and it was just every inch of the walls, not even like an open spot or anything. It was just covered in, like, Polaroid pictures of naked girls. But it wasn't, like, naked women, like, naked little girls. Oh. Like, around the same age. They're, like, 11, 12. They're saying it looked around the same age. It was just, like, pictures that this dude was taking of them. Jesus. So they freaked out. They ran to their dad and told their dad and everything. So the dad checked it out, called the police. The police showed up. And the police started like questioning them, be like, "Did you take it? What? Like, did you take out? Did you take any of the photos out? Like all this stuff." And like, started getting really aggressive and really rude about it. And so the dad was like, kind of was being very timid and was like, "Why are you asking all these questions to these 11, 12 year old kids? Why are you being so weird about this?" And so the dad just like took the kids and like, "We're done. We're going home." So they went home, and then they never heard anything about it. Or anything like that. So it's like years gone by. This kid was in college. And he actually got caught by that same police. Or he wasn't in college quite yet when he got caught. He Mm -hmm. was um, a little bit older. But a lot of years had passed. Like he was older. He He wasn't a little kid anymore. He was in about high school this time when the cop found the same cop uh, found him. Or caught him smoking in like a parking lot or something like that. And was... He asked him, he's like, oh, so did you ever figure out anything about the picture, pictures of, in the cabin, or not in the cabin, the treehouse? And he was like, no, we didn't, nothing happened with it. Like, it was just kind of a dead end, whatever. So the guy was like, all right, the kid just, was like, all right, didn't think about it. It was like, okay, that's not weird or anything. But what was weird is that when he was in college, his friend that was with him, that went into the treehouse with him, sent him like a news thing. And they found the person, and it was the cop. Oh. The cop that was did the like came over and was like questioning when they first found all these pictures and everything. Was the one taking the pictures of the little girls. Oh. He was the one all along. Oh my god, dude! Dude, that's crazy. Cause you hear all these stories about the cops and stuff like that. There's like, there's good cops be... and there's bad cops. Cops with good intentions, cops with bad intention. We we we, we aren't uh, politicianal yeah, but professionals. Like... <laughs> we don't know shit about fuck, but that's fucked up, dude. That's terrible. And it's like it scares you. Like what fucking freaky fetishes cops have? Shit like well, that. just people in general, dude. That's a weird. Yeah. That's I don't know. Kind of goes back to like like Ted Bundy. I was thinking about this like 
serial killers and people like I see these stories all the time about how they just like people do some demented shit to people like they'll like I've seen like her stories where they'll just like kidnap girls like guys will kidnap girls and just like mutilate their bodies and slowly torture them to death and everything like that it's like how can that go th- like how does that go through your mind dude have you have like, I told you, you about the the West Memphis 3 did we talk about that last podcast uh no I don't think so I think we we're just talking about that yeah so the you, so the the what kind of came to my mind is when you said mutilation it it ties along with this story where down in West Memphis Tennessee there's these three little boys you know gothic boys who are living in this you know very um redneck part of part of the states you know these three gothic boys back in the eighties living in this redneck type of world and you know. These three, uh, you know, fuck. We just have to, to clip this part together. Sorry, I was, I was losing my words. What am I trying to say? <laughs> so these three gothic boys um, who lived in West Memphis, Tennessee, they... Fuck yeah. There, so. Fuck yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, I gotta, ga- I gotta gather my words. What am I trying to say? So these three boys from West Memphis, Tennessee, you know, these gothic kids who lived in this very redneck um, part of the state, um, were were shamed and and being blamed and all fingers were pointed to these three kids these gothic kids for killing three small boys um, that were like brutally mutilated sliced open like parts of their bodies were cut off like it was disgusting bite marks hit marks bruises all over these three little boys bodies thrown into into this riverbank in wet western Memphis Tennessee so the whole town kind of turned on them pointed fingers on them it's a really good story it's it's um. There's a documentary on on Amazon called West of Memphis, and they they follow one of the Gothic kids who was who are innocent, by the way. Spoiler alert: he 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 was being documented in prison, you know, throughout this whole time. You know, he had these lawyers, he had these people, you know, kind of behind him. Like this kid is innocent; he didn't kill these three little boys. So it's pretty cool. Like they they go through his whole like jail time, and you know he he talks about stories when he was little, how it went down, where he's at right now. And, you know, there's, there's even, he's wrote a lot of books and I'm not a big book reader, but he's wrote a lot of books about him being out and how the world is so different now for him, you know, being in solid confinement. He wasn't even a part of the rest of the jail, um, cellmates. He, he was in solid, um, confinement. Is that what it's called? Solidary confinement? I think so. I think so. Yeah. He was in solidary confinement and, you know, for 20 years, maybe I don't want to get it wrong, but I think he was in there for 20 years. So Think, think of what that would do to a person when you're 16, 17 years old when he was arrested to now when... I feel fucking crazy. Yeah. Well, he's borderline... Yeah, he's borderline crazy, but... <laughs> really cool story. Really crazy story. But yeah, it's it's a, it's a mind bender of, of county government, state government, how just like corrupt they were back then in you know yeah. the 80s. It was bad, dude. Still are, but... Yeah, it, it kind of shows you how like terrible people are just like judging them by... Like judging a book by its cover, so like yeah, you know, just because they look different and out of place in this town, yeah, I mean this instantly judged and instantly prosecuted. That city was definitely a part of the Bible Belt, so you know they're very strict with their Christianity yeah. and their religion, dude. So when you see, especially in that time, yeah, that was like when it was. Oh know, yeah, a hundred percent. They see three Gothic kids that aren't like them, someone who's not like them. Yeah, it, they were they were very easy targets, and that's the sad part of the story is that. You know, they're, the lawyers on these three boys' sides, you know, who were in it, the gothic kid sides that were very innocent, they, they made great arguments, great points. You know, anything that could have saved these kids, they said and they brought up in court. But the, the, the government just, was just so corrupt, dude, that... And they just, they couldn't open up their eyes to the actual truth. And it was like, I, you know, I, just because these kids looked different. They, yeah, dude. And they looked, they looked, they looked, they looked to part at the time to be in the they could be the killers. Stuff like that. Yep. It, yeah. I'm not saying that like goth people look like killers. Or no, anything, no, like, not at all. Like, yeah, hey, at not at all. <laughs> but no, it's just like back in the day, dude, they, they were the easy targets and they were pinned. They were pinned at like, it was like 14, 15 and like 17 years old. These kids were, and they, they were pinned for killing these three little, like six year old boys. And they, they were only pinned because of what they wore, how they acted, what they, you know, what they looked like. So just a crazy story of, 
but it's like it's crazy to think it's like how what like goes through these people's minds to be like oh, i'm gonna do some of the most like sick and twisted shit of all time but you hear this and you're like dude that is just brutal and you're like these people are just doing it and they're they have a smile on their face when they're doing it so i don't that know is dude. fucking I... awful and it like it fascinates me because like like serial killers like fascinates fascinates me and i don't know why but like mm-hmm it's just like I want to like I want to be able to like wrap my head around and like, how, how can you to... be in the mind of a serial killer? That's what it is. I think that even might yeah. be a show name, but like, how do you get in the mind of a serial killer? How do you really, oh. how, like these are this is the Unless this is the closest like, you're gonna get to to how you, they think? Yeah, is these documentaries. There was a documentary that I was like blown away, and I was like trying not to cry about the whole time because it was about this guy that like posted videos on facebook and everything like that about him like killing cats dude yeah yes. don't f with cats yes don't yes fuck with cats. dude that is a crazy documentary yeah. and dude. i was like ethan our buddy showed me during work and he was like oh you need to watch because it's like on netflix so it's give him the background yeah this is a cra- this is a really good series actually yeah and i was like that i was blown away because this dude it started off with like little things like he it was like a video of him vacuum sealing a cat in a bag and then alive. It was vacuum sealed alive and all this shit. I was like, oh my God, that is terrible. So these Facebook community, right? The Facebook community pretty much was like coming around. It's like, hey, we need to find this person that is murdering cats. Yeah. And he was doing it obviously for attention. Like he posted it for a reason to like get the people to look at him and get the attention. And so all these people were like, we need to find this guy. They're it was like years with law law enforcement trying to find this guy trying to track him down but he was so smart that they couldn't track him down through facebook or anything like that uh-huh. i can't it's been a while since i've seen it but they finally was he started getting too bold and was i like trying to crave the more attention because the viewers started to die down People were trying to... He would take, like, year breaks where he wouldn't post anything. Yeah, and people were, like, kind of giving up on him. They were like, okay, maybe he stopped or anything. Like, we can't find him. So, like, he started noticing that. And then he started posting again. And, like, him burning cats, doing all this... He did stuff to humans, too, didn't he? Like, Yeah, that's what it led to. So, he was doing this to cats and animals. And people were trying to find him. And he was, like, getting his like high i would say like his adrenaline rush his adrenaline high off of like all these people looking at him trying to find him and then he started to like there kind of was like catching on there thinking of that it was this like actor um it wasn't like a big actor or anything like that their thing was like this oh yeah 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 and see he like they could have but they didn't they didn't have like solid proof of evidence it was him until he went to a hotel in like Canada, I think. He Is was it? no, it was all based in Canada. I thought no, he lived in Canada, and the the Facebook people were from Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the, at least the head lady who yeah. who was like the leader of the group. Yeah. And then there was I can't remember. It was in a different country because they had to do like, uh, it was like country to country law enforcement and like stuff like that. This dude was caught on camera taking another guy into his room in a hotel. And they never heard of that guy again. And they're like, what the hell? So they found, and he, they found part of his body parts in a dumpster in the back. And so they started like putting the pieces together um, because they saw him go into his room with him. Never saw him come out, but he saw like the cameras caught him with body bag, like not body bags, like garbage bags with his body parts in them. And they throw, he was just throwing them in the garbage. And then he started sending body parts to law enforcement. The, the, I think it was maybe a mayor of the town of whatever it was. Like he started sending the body parts to him, like a hand or anything. It's like, dude, what goes through your mind? And how fucking long did it take to catch this dude? Yeah. It was like years. This is fucking Canada for you, I guess. Dude, this guy was caught 8K. How could they not find him? He was in so many videos. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, he was, they eventually, the, what really started, like, them catching on to his shit 
was like a painting in his one of his rooms when he was posting like the original photos it was like because they found the room and then they found like kind of like led to him uh-huh. but it's just like God, that shit's crazy to me yeah it's, no it is it is um fuck dude do you believe in like a uh, the afterlife or like ghosts and like spirits and demons i mean to an extent i don't know and i don't really think i wouldn't say i don't believe but in my mind i don't think that they can like possess your body and do shit to you i there's got i mean there's got to be something out there's got to be a god to create all this stuff or there's gonna be someone out there i do believe in ghosts i do believe in the afterlife i don't know what it's like or what it's about but my extent goes to they you know they they're here and they can they might be able to communicate with you but they can't possess you they, they can't take over your body really i don't think so dude i'm like see i don't believe like a god or anything like that i don't believe that that you whatever like i'm not gonna judge on whatever the people's beliefs are but i i think there's an afterlife because i don't think it's like once you die you're it's just black or whatever like i don't know no way yeah exactly so i believe that like there's spirits there's good spirits and then there's bad spirits that are like the demons that can possess and everything like that because there's some fucking crazy stories as well that i've seen Ghost Adventures. No, dun, 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 that's part of it. <laughs> yeah. That's part of it. But there, no, there's ones that been like in the news and shit like that. And it's like they don't, they can't explain it. Dude, I mean, until it happens to me or I see it firsthand, I, yeah, I just don't think I can believe it. It's, there's, it's so easy to fake things. It's so easy to CGI things. And the shitty quality camera they do because it's got to be pitch black. It's got to be at three in the morning. You know, I don't know. I don't really Okay, well, it. yeah, like the TV shows. But, like, this was in the news, and it was here in Utah, up in Logan. Is this the, the, the ranch or whatever, of the, the, like, nuns? No, the Skinwalker Ranch is down south. Well, what about the nuns? I heard, I've heard of that one. Oh, right? yes. This is the one I'm talking about. Yeah. So, these college frat kids, so, like, the backstory of this uh, place, I, I can't remember what it's called, but it's, like, where the nuns are in school. And they're, they live on this place, like this church ground or whatever. I can't remember what it's called. Um, a nun school? Um, it's not, I would say it's not a nun school, but it's like where they all live together because they can't be out. They monastery. Be, monastery, yes. Like the monastery. But they caught this one nun. She was pregnant. Yeah. And so they sent her off to she this retreat. She down dirty with a priest. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Down dirty with a, with a priest. Ever, have you ever had a crush on one of your church leaders? You no. know, ever, ever, you, you never uh, had. Uh, what? When I did go to church, when I was like fucking twelve and shit, it was. They're all like old. People. You didn't have a crush on any. Wow. I, was I remember in, one. I'm in like oh. an older neighborhood, and it's all old people. I remember one church leader, dude. Damn, <laughs> I couldn't take my eyes off her. I was like, you know, little, you know, I'm growing into my body. I was like maybe 10, 11, <laughs> maybe 12 years old. I'm growing into my body. And the figure on this woman, dude. And you want to go to gotcha church. Little, I don't, I don't gotcha go to. Willie wiggling around. And I don't go to church anymore, but she was the reason, dude. She kept <laughs> me why, coming back. She was see, nice. We need more of that. I would go back. To we need church. more hot moms in the church. Yeah, see, I would go back to church if they're like, I was getting taught by a hot mom. Dude, get my ass out of bed at 830 in the morning. I'll, I'll go to, listen to a hot mom. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> anyway, anyways, back to this though. <laughs> <laughs> back to this was this nun got sent to a retreat because she was pregnant and it's like by the priest. <laughs> it's against the rules. And when she had the kid, the head nun came down and to the she came to the retreat and drown the baby in the pool it was some wild shit like she just like some shutter night, island shit dude yeah in the middle of the night she just drowned the baby damn and so the nun that had the mother of the baby like slit her own throat next to the pool because she couldn't handle that she couldn't go through her life oh she couldn't see life beyond this kid and everything so she killed herself next to the pool and 
that's kind of like the backstory of this this demonic place, and the these college frat kids went there because they heard about the story and everything. Like Lo- Logan, it's Utah State frat kids. They went to this nunnery up in Logan Canyon. Nunnery, not a nunnery. <laughs> it's a, a retreat. No monastery. Uh, that's a monastery retreat. I would say. Because it wasn't actually the monastery. Ah. Uh. But it was like the retreat that they send people to like vacation or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty sick vacation. For Jeez. her, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah, she met the priest. But and she got dick down. And then she, she got met... that good dick by the priest. <laughs> it's so crazy, dude. Nine was... Yeah, anyways. But, uh, so these college frat kids were there. And it's, it's trespassing land. Because... It's not trespass. Uh, they were trespassing, but it was like, what is it? Yeah, it's it tr- was private property. That's what. I'm oh trying yeah, to say. private property. Mm-hmm. So they were trespassing, and they're just exploring. Uh, and one of them said that they saw like three people, like three figures, in the trees, just like kind of running down hill. Woo. And they're like, what the fuck? They're, they didn't think about any. They didn't. Think they about didn't anything. think about. Oh my god! I'd be shitting my pants. I would too. And they were like, okay, we're gonna keep on exploring. And then all of a sudden, like police, three cops show up, <gasps> heavily armed, shotguns, ARs, all this, and come in and detain them. They're like screaming at them. They get a cord and wrap it around their like tie their hands all together in a line. And they're around their necks and everything like that. Kind of like, it's kind of similar to a hog tie a little bit. But it's God a damn, cord. getting sexual. <laughs> These are some horny cops, bro. <laughs> Get turned on by the nunnery. What's going on here? Yeah, bro. The freaking this is taking a turn for the worse. What the hell? Yeah. Like some horny cops. But the cops were threatening to like saying that fuck was a cor- <laughs> I'll fuck your ass. I'll fuck your ass. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> no, but they they pretty much just start threatening them and uh, like threatening, saying this core is connected to a bomb, blow up. Oh my god! Or, what the they fudge? Were, like, shoving the one head cop was like shoving the shotgun in the face and actually uh, shot a shell off next to the dude's ear because he was like freaking. He was like, "Why are we being detained? Like, why can't we just like why can't you just walk us out, give us a ticket, whatever? Like, why are you guys being?" So, like, timid and, like, threatening us. And he actually, the cop was like, oh, shut up. And, like, be quiet or whatever. Just shot. Oh, shell. shut up. <laughs> shut <laughs> up, little boy. But he shot a shell off next to his face. Freaked out. And then later, the cops, like, were sent to court because kids were suing him. And I mean, they're like, this is crazy. And the yeah. cops were like, I, we have no idea what, why, why we did it. We have no idea, like, what happened. They knew what happened, but they, uh, they're like, we have no idea why we did that. But sounds guilty to me. Well, they, they didn't even, like, try pleading their own case. They just pretty much owned up. They're like, we did it. We don't know why we did it. We don't know what happened. I'm See, just, bro, I don't know. I can't like, believe that enough unless I see it firsthand. This was in the court Yeah, I get I don't know. But it, I don't know, dude. Could be embellished. I don't know. I, like if if I don't see it firsthand, I don't know if I can really believe that. That's true. I the like, gotta see it to believe it. Exactly. I mean, for something like that, it's pretty, pretty far out there. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty wild, dude. I want to go check it out. I want to go up to that. It's up in Logan Canyon, so it's like two hours from here. Oh, you, oh, now you want to go there? Yeah, I want to go there. I want to oh. check it out. Dude, I'm into that. Like. Scary movies like haunted houses and like going to abandoned haunted places, checking shit out. Yeah, not if crazy ass cops are gonna freaking. I'll put the shot in my. Holy god damn, I'm getting a little sexual up here. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, Gary Rice's legendary promos, hell yeah. Fucking DraftKings. Dude, is DraftKings like another betting website? Yeah, but DraftKings. So, like the DraftKings and the FanDuels and the. Las Vegas sports, or no, it's like the MGM, whatever it is. Those are like only available in legal states. Like oh, okay. There might be like 15, 20 states that are, have actually legalized. No, it might be even less than 15 
stateside of legalized sports betting. Mm. So what I do and what some other people do from these states that you know don't have it legalized yet, they use a bookie. So these bookies are people who live or reside or whatever it is in these states that legalize sports betting. They'll take in almost we're almost like, I'm almost like a client. They almost take in like clients and bet for them. So like I like right now I have a bookie and I you know pay them out and you know I say I want to make this bet this bet this bet cash it in if I win I win if I lose and they keep yeah. the money so that's that's how I do it okay. obviously it's the only way to do it is use a bookie <laughs> I don't know yeah. what I'm saying but yeah that's that's the only way I can do it they got a drink now because uh, they just saw ah. celebrities on the hey TV. Sh- should uh, we should we talk about what we're oh what yeah we're doing? so we got. Because we're, so, we're throwing like a Super Bowl party. Let me tell you that we have like a TV um, <laughs> has a Super Bowl on right now. And it had a commercial of DraftKings. So kind of what I, that's why I brought that up. But one of our, we had like this Super Bowl drinking game list of things to like drink, take a sip, take a shot. And one of them was if they show like a bunch of celebrities and you have to, what is it, take a sip? So uh okay yeah the drink. celebrity take take a drink yeah what, what else is on there there's like if joe yeah. burrow does something cool joe burrow does something so cool be joe burrow yeah be, be joe shiesty <laughs> he, he he's take a sip we'll probably do like maybe we honestly might be able to do like all the sips because i'm yeah. fine with sipping but the shots is uh, where we gotta cool it. We have like we have no t- we have no al- we have no hard alcohol left, so we can't really do I that. I mean, shit there's anymore. a liquor store right across the street. Yeah, I guess. But I okay. kind of want to be a bitch. Can I just drink beer? But it's not being a bitch. Drinking beer is awesome. Yeah, but it's also being a bitch compared to drinking hard alcohol. Well, like, if I'm yeah. gonna take a bunch of shots. But we also like we got a week to start this tomorrow because <laughs> it's Sunday. But yeah, we got what what's on the list? So there's like one where it's like mm. No, let's let's read the list off. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh college highlight of Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase at LSU is shown. Yeah, I just take a, a guarantee. That's a guarantee. Anytime Chris Collinsworth says, Now here's a guy. Yeah. Now here's a guy. That's a take a sip. That's take a sip. Okay, that's kind of happened. So we got Chris Collinsworth and is it Tariko that are calling the game, or who is it? No, 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 it's Al, Al Dave. No, not fuck Al, Al, Al Michaels. Al Michaels. Fuck. So Al Michaels and Chris Collinsworth are calling okay. the game. Okay, good lineup. Good lineup. Let's talk about first experiences that we've just recently had. Yep. Because today. I had my first experience of someone coming up to me and like an underage person coming up to me and asking me to buy them beer. Uh huh. Never had that before. This dude, I was like sitting in line at a Smith's. I had our beer for the game and everything. And this dude came up to me. He was like this young kid. He looked older than me. Not gonna lie, he looked like he had a full fucking beard and everything. But he came up to me. He was like, "Hey, if I like ran and got a thirty rack and got here before." You went to go buy your stuff. Could you buy this for me? I was like, uh, n- no, because it's super busy. To like, the Smiths is really busy. These people behind me definitely just heard you ask me to buy you beer, and you think it's not gonna be suspicious to like <laughs> have like also this kid run up and give me a thirty rack, and I just go buy it. No. Like no. No. So I didn't say any of that. I was like sitting there, I was like, uh, you know, and he was like, you know what? Don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good. And he just walked away. I was like, all right. Sounds good. No way, dude. I don't want to be. <laughs> no way, dude. Beer anyways. Seriously. But then also last night. Last night, yeah, we had a, we had a stogie via Jake Vincent. Hey, shout out Jake Vincent. Thank you, Jake, for, uh, for our first experience last night. It's kind of cool. Yeah, some stoves. That was Fucking nasty. The first, the first whiff. It, it really, when I first got it, I was like, oh my God, it smells like a cigarette. In hindsight, kind of stupid to say because it's all tobacco, but I was like, oh my God, this smells like, like shit. This smells like a Vegas casino and I'm yeah. walking right into this big ass cloud of cigar smoke. Yeah. This smells like shit. I feel like I'm in Vegas, but it was, uh, 
I guess it was all right. Little, grew a little hair on our chest, you know? I grew a little hair on our chest. Nuts nuts dropped just a little bit more. A little bit more. feel like more of a man today. Yeah. Had a couple puffs of the stoke. Dude, it was... I accidentally inhaled a couple times. Like, I actually... I, you don't mean to. It just... It's like, when you first... Like, I've never... I knew I was going to fuck it up, too. Like, I knew, like, before. And, like, I always think about it. I'm like, I know when I... Because you're not supposed to, like, inhale the smoke of a, a cigar. And I knew, I was like, I'm gonna, it's gonna happen, like, I'm a fucking idiot, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and I did I it. did the same thing, <laughs> I dude. I did it, I was like, this is hell. Like, I might, like, I wanna cry. I was like, I'm gonna fucking die. Yeah, like, you, you get that first, it's a different cough than, like, maybe smoking weed. It's a different kind, it's like, a, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up first, first cough. Yes. Like, it, like, it's just gross, it's just nasty. Yeah. But, uh, if you do it right, I guess... I mean, everyone's like getting like their neck buzzes and everything. I didn't feel like low key. I I don't I know if I got any neck buzz from it. Like I, don't think I, so. I was for maybe like because we already we were drinking a bunch. Like we had a bunch of beers before, and one we were uh, we were smoking the cigars for um, Adesanya. How do you how do you say his name again? Yeah, Israel Adesanya. Yeah, his, we were smoking that Whitaker pack. Yeah, we were smoking that Whitaker pack, right? Because. He kicked some ass last night. He won. Uh, so we were smoking the cigar, and everyone's like, "Oh, I'm so like, oh, this buzz is nice. This Nick buzz." I was like, "I'm just like my drunk, kind of just enhanced for like like a little bit for like a minute." And I was like, "I'm fine. Like nothing happened." Mm-hmm. And then later, you, you hit for the patch. My very first time, I took a Zin. I've never done it. Like I've never taken Zins or anything like that. I just don't see the point. I don't care for nicotine. I just, I just yeah. don't see the point of that. And I was like, wow, this shit actually is hitting me pretty fucking hard. Holy. I got drunk. I was like, I'm all fucking like, what it was like 10, 12 beers Dude. I had hit me. I was like, holy shit. The pouch hit me hard. It hit me fast. Like within a couple minutes, I was yeah. like, well, I feel it tingle through my body. I feel pretty good. Left it a little too long, swallowed a little too much spit, yeah. and then I was like, okay, God, See, I, I, my I stomach. I didn't feel sick or anything, because I actually did swallow as well. But I was, because, you know, I ain't, no, I, ain't, I ain't no quitter. I ain't no spitter. Oh, my God. But, no, I was spitting. <laughs> yeah, spitting we're all spitting, unless you want to feel like shit. But I, uh, I did, that actually felt, but then it was like five, ten minutes later. I wasn't. I was like, oh, I'm back to normal. I had to spend my. I'm kind of a. I was kind of a pussy coming in. I guess coming up against Nick, dude. It kind of knocked me for one. I, 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 I just didn't feel too great. Like I, I peaked and I felt pretty good, and then uh. Yeah, it was just kind of yeah. Who's fucking with like shit? Our our friend Spencer. He took. <laughs> He had three at the same time, two upper deckers. Granted, this kid doesn't smoke. smoke. This kid doesn't drink. He has, but he's he doesn't do. He, like he doesn't it's do not it a thing. No, no, he doesn't do it often. But I would at say all. often. It's like once in a blue moon. For real, like and maybe he, once a year. He's like very rare dude, occasion. That's when Bancer was coming out. His name is Spencer, but that's when Bencer is a whole different person. No, oh, bad man right there. Three pouches in, and he was pale as a ghost, dude. He, like he, was, he was so like white, pillow. so pale. He looked like, yeah, he, he looked like shit. It looked like so sick. I was like, I'm actually terrified for this guy. Like, I don't know if he's gonna just start throwing up because he looked like he was <laughs> neck sick. But he said he was like fine, and everything. But I was like, you don't, look you don't look sick. fine. <laughs> you know when you see someone. He's he dude. He's fetal position, curled on the couch. You know he's not comfy, and he says, white, "Just pale." I'm fine. Yeah, you're not fine. Yeah, like I can see it in your, in your skin tone, dude. I, you're pretty albino as it comes, but you look different. Pale. You look. It's like sick pale. Sick like green. Yeah. 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 Green is yeah. And yeah. We're like, dude, you feel okay? He's like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> no, you're not. You're just trying to like say you're fine, so you don't. Poor kid. People, like worry. That's one way to find out Nick isn't your thing. It's yeah. just one way to to stay away, I guess. Bro, that's that's the thing. It's like weed, nicotine, just ain't my mojo. I've had such bad experiences. Like I used to, like when I was young, I would say younger. Oh jeez. <laughs> but yeah, I let's hear younger. about this. Yeah, you were younger. And like when I first started smoking weed, I, I can't say first. Sorry, when I first 
did smoke, like when I first smoked weed, I guess. I just, yeah, whatever. Uh, I was like, fine. Like, I just, like, I thought it was the greatest thing ever. And then I started really drinking. I started drinking more and, like, <laughs> kind of lean towards drinking. Uh, and then I tried smoking again. Dude, I just greened out every time. Even if it was, like, one hit out of a bong or something like that, I just greened out. And then, like, edibles, I don't really feel anything. I could take it, I could eat, like, a whole big-ass brownie that's, like, has, like, hella weed in it. I, I don't really, I, like, feel, like, a little head tingle, but nothing, like, crazy. I get a little giggly, but nothing insane. But when I smoke, it's, like, I fucking get so high so fast, and then I just feel sick, and I hate it. I'm sitting there, and, like, I get, I like, panic, and I just feel like shit because... I don't want to be high. I'm sitting there like, I don't want to fuck be high. Mm. I, I don't. But when That's I first started, way back, because I, start, I started, back in my olden I days, young. I started like smoking and drinking young, which is wild. You shit. I was like 13 <laughs> when I started. You little shit head, dude. <laughs> I was such a, you was such a shit shit kid. And then I mellowed out from it. I like stopped. I, I was, I stopped smoking, but I still drink because drinking is fucking Oh god, having a good beer, nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. It's just now wild. you're gonna become a Nick fiend. Uh, fuck no. No. I, see, what's the wild is I don't have an addictive personality, but my whole family does. Like my mom is like, you gotta I be mean, careful, like with this stuff, because like our whole family and like you we just have a history of having addictive personalities. I mean, I was like. I'm not I like I don't get addicted to things. Like people are like, oh I'm so addicted to Nick. I don't get addicted. You like your beers, bro. You're I wouldn't say you okay, were addicted, yeah. I would say, but like you I do like, like I your still, beers. I do like my beers. I can put down <laughs> some fucking beers. But it's not like I let it like if I want a beer, like I'll have a beer. But You're I'm not, not gonna be like craving it all day, every day and all this stuff like that. Like I don't want it. You're not drunk twenty four seven. Yeah. I'm not. I would say I'm an alcoholic, but I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> Dude, you're, if you're not an alcoholic, you're pretty damn close. Yeah, I will have a shower beer like every. Yeah, time. <laughs> there it is. I'll, I'll have a shower beer. Shower beers are different though. Dude, I have. It, it helps you sleep. It's fucking wild. When, when I had no access to this stuff, you know, I had a, a wine bottle. <laughs> mm-hmm. And before I was able to have a shower beer, because for some reason I had a, I had wine instead of beer. Somehow I got wine. wine I had a wine. I had a shower wine. I bet that's kind of nice. That was uh, that was an experience in itself. A big old <laughs> huge shit ton of shower wine. You know it's so weird because it's like sh- like you would drink like nothing can beat a cold like ice cold natty. Nothing can beat that. I think there might be a lot of drinks that I mean Sprite okay. for one. Fuck off with Sprite. Are you shitting me? Sprite? I'm not shitting you, dude. I would take a cold soda over a natural light any day. I'm not saying natural lights are bad, but I would drink a soda over a beer. Okay. I, I mean, like, taste okay. alone, for sure, a soda. But, I, I mean, ta- if I want to get I, a little I tipsy. Take a cold soda, but, like, over a beer sometimes. But uh-huh. sometimes, dude, a cold natty just is so nice. Especially when you're, like, uh-huh. on the river, on a lake, anything outdoors, and you have a beer. <laughs> Anytime I step outside, dude, for work in the morning, yeah. <laughs> fuck, I yeah. need a beer, dude. Dude, a morning beer, a lunch beer, a fucking dinner beer, Hell shower dude. beer, bro. Come on, and beers in between there, you can't beat it. Just kidding, I don't, I don't do that. Yeah, but, I mean, I can see it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I would say, it. dude, like that's having a nice beer every once in a while. Like, I can't say every once in a while because I have a nice beer all the time, but. <laughs> It's just hard to beat when you're you're just having like hanging out with the boys or whatever. So you said Natty's yours. You, you know yeah. you're not a Budweiser, Bud Light. You're not a PBR, I mean, what Pabst kind of guy. Pabst bros. Uh, Natty's my 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 go-to. Like I've had Budweiser, I've had Bud Light, I've had Coors, I had Corona. Well, Corona's a had more of a like higher end <clears throat> Mexican beer. But like just like a cheap. Uh, Light beer, Natty Lights. Just be, like, sure. Budweiser's are okay. I can have a few of them, but too strong a flavor, carbonation. 
they just don't they they taste they just don't taste as good i don't know it's like the flavor of the no. the beer hoppiness yeah hey you're, okay before we sign off before we end the podcast uh you like the Bengals super bowl jerseys Rams super bowl jerseys what do you like more i do i gotta go with the Bengals. Ooh, dude, they look good. We're watching right now. They look good. Dude, the black and the white ti- the white uh, pants with like the orange tiger stripes, everything on the side, they just look so good. It looks the good. Orange. Like, I'm not a big orange fan. Like, the browns, orange and brown is fucking disgusting. I hate that. And I'm not like a big orange person, but the Bengals orange and like the Bengals jerseys and everything like that are some of the cleanest. In the league, they just redid them this year, and they yeah, these blacks are clean, dude. And the I, Rams though, so just the Rams are pretty; they're clean as well. They 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 definitely started a new wave of like modern jerseys. You know, their 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 number style, um, the patches they got, they, kind of they look pretty clean. I like, like them. Oregon, a little bit. The yeah, big, but not as flashy. They're like professional, but very modern. Yeah, and, and they're new. not as and the, the numbers aren't as like big and stuff. Like you know how the fucking Oregon's. That's the thing. It's like I. Hate, oh yeah. I hate. I love Oregon's jerseys and colorways and everything and designs, but it's like the numbers are way too big. Yeah. They're just, they take up the whole jersey. Like, they do they make really huge ass numbers. But I, I do think the Rams like new era of jerseys and everything like that looks very good. Really, sick. I like it. Bone whites look great, dude. I love yeah. them. The white yellow. What they have right now is the white with yellow pants. Yeah. The helmets, the helmet, their color blue on their helmets are so clean. I like their helmets too. I, I love their helmets. I think they're, I think you're and it's just like the, it's the blue color on their helmets and like where, the way it reflects off the lights and everything looks so good. Yeah. For real. Well, man, this was a good episode too. And I think it's a good time to sign off. We got the Super Bowl starting in 15 minutes. So got to get ready for that. Pray for some. the bets. Okay. Yeah. Pray for Cooper Cup, 109. Pray for Joe Burrow, over 12 and a half. OBJ touchdown, and pray for Cooper Cup touchdown. Got, Please. He's got $25 on the line right now. Um, hopefully, we don't get too drunk off this dream game either. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll yeah, this this, <laughs> this will be a fun game to watch. I'm I'm excited for whoever wins. We got yeah. Va- I got Von Miller. I'm a Broncos fan. I got Von Miller on the Rams, and then you got Joe Shicey on the Bengals. You, I mean, you like, can't really I'm, go wrong. I'm not going to be upset with whoever wins. But no. I I prefer the Bengals to win because Josh Eisty, but my team's obviously not in. So it's I'm not. just excited to watch, man. This yeah. is gonna be a good game. It's gonna be it's one that I can enjoy. Drink some beers, eat some good food, yes, sir. That we gotta actually get ready. So that's why we're signing off. We gotta get ready for all the all the people to come over. We got a party going on, and we gotta get the food ready. Okay, if you made it this long, <laughs> thanks. Peace.